welcome to dia's tutorial today's topic is transverse myelitis what is transverse myelitis it is an inflammation of the spinal cord it affect, uh, inflammation occurs in the both the side of the spinal cord from the name itself we can know this myelitis itis means inflammation so myelitis means inflammation of the myelin sheet so transverse myelitis is the damage to the myelin sheet so this is a nerve cell and uh, so this is the dendrite dendrite actually receives the signal and the axon sends the signal okay sends the impulses the, the axon is covered by the myelin sheet and uh, through the synapse each uh, each nerve cells communicate with each other so when the uh, myelin sheet is damaged the impulse through the axon are disrupted so as the spinal cord is damaged the all the impulse the all the message from the nerves are damaged okay they damage all the sensory motor and even the spindle control and sometimes even the reflexes all are damaged uh, there are many causes of transverse myelitis but some of the most common causes are the post infections uh, it can be a viral and rarely a bacterial infection also viral infections like herpes hepatitis b hiv and autoimmune disorders where the body's own cells destroy the tissues and then in sometimes in stroke and mainly myelitis is a factor of a symptom seen in multiple sclerosis Multiple sclerosis is all a demyelinating disease of uh, brain and the spinal cord. It is also considered to be autoimmune. The symptoms includes the pain. Pain will be there in the lower back, arms and legs. And uh, you will have abnormal sensation like uh, tingling sensation, numbness, pricking sensations. Then weakness will be there and tenderness even in slight pressure. Bladder and bowel control will be lost. In the causes we also have the neuromyelitis optica it is a condition it is an inflammatory condition where the myelin is also lost around the spinal cord and it also affect the nerve uh, of the eye so not only affecting the spinal cord but also eye this is a condition of the eye treatment of uh, transverse myelitis we have the following medications that is the steroids uh, it will reduce the inflammation in the spine then the intravenous immunoglobulin okay then the plasma exchange therapy so it is also called as a plasma pheresis uh, then we have the antiviral medication if there is a case of a viral infections we also have the role of the uh, physiotherapist in case of uh, muscle weakness and loss of flexibility then bowel and bladder control then the psychiatrist uh, for anxiety depressions and professional therapists also so we have finished the topic friends i hope you all will understand it uh, it is an easy way so if you have any doubts or if you know if you need any topic just comment below and thank you for watching the video check the bell icon and do subscribe to my channel to get more videos